Hello everyone, this is Prevalent Arts. A lot of you are aware that I use Affinity Designer for the majority of my illustration work now, or actually all of my illustration work. So I decided that I'm going to share my most desired features in Affinity Designer. These are not features that are in the program yet, these are ones that I hope eventually come to Designer. Now first I just want to tell you that these are not features I'm saying that need to be in Affinity Designer because everyone prefers something different. So these are just features that I prefer for my illustration purposes. These features are strictly for illustration. The first is an option to disable Auto Smooth. When drawing in Affinity Designer, the Auto Smooth slightly warps your stroke. It smooths out your curves. But in other cases, when you need to be a little more precise, it works against your advantage. The second is continue from endpoints. When you draw with a pencil tool, normally in vector software, you can keep drawing from that last anchor point, but in Affinity Designer, you do not have that option with the pencil tool, but you do have that option with the pen tool. But when you draw your different curves, you do have the option to select all of your curves and then join them together. But it does involve just another step. And in other cases, let's say you're going to draw something furry, that something like this you would need to use the pencil tool, well not need to, but it would take a lot longer with the pen tool to connect all of these waves together. Three is redraw vector lines. When I use the pixel tools, I usually go over the same spot several times. The pencil leaves the paper and then goes back on the paper, leaves the paper then goes back on the paper. So I thought to do something similar with um, the vector. I keep going over the same spot several times, but you create um, one vector line by doing that. In some cases, you may not be able to use the no tool. Like if I want to have this um, fish's mouth close, I may want to be a little more accurate. So being able to redraw the fish's mouth I get the result I was looking for. 4 is Vector Eraser. There might be instances in which you want to trim down your vector lines without having to use the Node tool. So with this example, I intentionally made this character's cheekbones too big. So if I want to trim down this line, I'd have to use the Node tool, add a point to where I want to trim it down to, and then click this point and then click delete. If we had the eraser tool then I'd be able to select the path and then just trim it down easily but still get that tapered look. Before closing up all of my curves I start off by drawing everything in open curves and then I later close everything up and sometimes I don't always start off with a basic sketch but a body structure so here I started drawing this girl's shirt right over it but I realized um, as I was drawing uh, more ideas were coming to me and now I realize I can get rid of some of these lines but it would be helpful to have an eraser so I could um, erase these lines a lot faster rather than going in and um, making all these shorter. Five is vector flood fills. This means coloring in incomplete shapes with the classic bucket tool approach, but instead it would be with vector. But the exact feature I'm looking for is not just any um, vector flood fills, but something equivalent to Illustrator's um, live paint bucket tool. So if I were to drop a fill right here, then I I would be able to still make changes to this character's wing and not get that gap space. 
but why w would I want this if I end up closing my paths afterward? Because it's like I said, I start off drawing in open paths and then I convert to closed paths. But in a case like this now, I use differences of width variation sometimes. So if I were to make two strokes like this, and then I want to join them together. The differences of width adds to the center now, and that makes editing confusing sometimes because here with this character is here, this is one object, and then these are separate objects, and that can make editing kind of tough at times. So these are the features I would like in Affinity Designer. I would like to um, put aside the pixel persona altogether, and if it were for these features, I'd feel confident enough to go right into the draw persona and start drawing. So let me know if you agree with this. Let me know. See you later.